heroes. Did you ever want to do Udon or figure out how all of that complex Udon code works? Well, you're in luck. This Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be holding an Udon class. I'm going to be starting with the basics and we'll be holding a class hopefully once a week, uh, depending upon how things go. But uh, for this first class, I will be teaching how to do the basic Hello World, which is a spinning cube, on top of how to do debugging so that way in future classes we can have an easier way of progressing forward. The way the class is going to work is we're going to have people in world able to ask questions directly and also people who will be following along during a live stream the live stream will kick off at 5 p.m eastern standard time as mentioned before uh, anybody who is showing up is encouraged to follow along that way if you ever come across any problems you'll be able to ask questions and we'll be answering questions as we go I will be looking for students who would like to be in-world, that way we can more directly communicate. Uh, if you're interested in joining the class in-world, just get in contact with me. For all who show up, I do highly encourage everybody to follow along. You don't have to necessarily do it during the live stream, but if you do so during the live stream, I will answer questions both to everyone who is in-world and in chat, so it's the most valuable time to be able to work on the project. However, I will require that everybody have their project set up beforehand, and and next, I will show you how to do that. Now, before class, you're going to need a setup with Udon so that you can follow along and be able to develop your project. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go to this link, which I'll put in the description below, which shows you how to set up the SDK. Don't worry, I'll follow you along with what stuff you'll need. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to install Unity. Uh, the thing I would highly recommend, which it also recommends, is install Unity Hub. So uh, if you go down to the unity3d.com slash get unity slash download, also will be in the description below, uh, you'll want to go to here where it says download Unity Hub. Uh, go ahead and run that, set it up. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. And once you have that set up, uh, you will have this as uh, the project. What we're going to need here is the current version of Unity, which is utilized through Udon, uh, and especially, or more importantly, the SDK3. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, scroll down here, see it mentions how to install with Unity Hub, and then with Unity Hub installed, you're going to want to click here to get the current version of VR, Ch or at least the current version of Unity that VRChat is using. This is the window that will show up. I went ahead and uninstalled the version that I have so that way I could show you here. Uh, you might just go ahead and keep what you have as default here and then just click install. You'll have this loading bar showing up here. And now it's installed. So what you're going to want to do now is we're going to make a project utilizing this version of Unity 2018.4.20F1. So projects. Uh, you go to projects, you go to new, uh, make sure to select the version of Unity that we'll be utilizing. Uh, we're going to just make a new one. We're going to just call this one Udon Class. Uh, I'm going to call it Udon Class too because I already have a, a project name Udon Class. You can call it whatever you want. This will essentially be revolved around whatever Udon project that you're going to utilize. Which I, I want to add a little note here. It's probably best to ensure that for each map that you're going to be making to have a separate project file for faster builds. So go ahead and do that. Create it. And we will have our Unity project building and we have our brand new project so the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to want to log into vrchat.com if you don't have a vrchat account yet i would highly suggest making one you won't be able to upload worlds until you have one so it's best to make one now and in the meantime might as well go around to check out some vr chat worlds especially what i want with worlds to get like some inspiration and um also rank up the account so that way you can upload worlds so you want to go to here uh log in go to the worlds tab uh and you're going to want to download the sdk3 uh, the SDK3 is what's going to allow us to actually do anything with Udon. Once that ins um, finishes downloading, you're going to go ahead and click it, and it'll automatically pop into your Unity project to install. As you can see, it's now preparing the package, installing, and once it's decompressed, you're just pretty much going to say OK. And here we are. Uh, just go ahead and click the import. 
Right, so that is the SDK installed. Now we're going to need something called Udon Sharp. Um, I will be teaching both how to utilize Udon Graph and Udon Sharp, and not to mention it's good to have Udon Sharp in your project folder, because if you ever get any kind of prefab that utilizes Udon Sharp, you're going to require Udon Sharp to compile it in the first place. Um, I'll link this in the description below as well. Just make sure, check the description for all the links. Uh, you're going to want to go here. This is Udon Sharp. It's made by Merlin. It has helped a lot for uh, allowing us to actually code with uh, C Sharp. But you'll want to go down here to yeah to the releases, get the this Unity package, uh, click and install, just as you did with the other, import, and there you go. You're, you're now ready to be able to start developing within Unity with your project for the class. Now remember, I will require anybody who wants to follow along to have your project already set up prior so that way we don't have to spend the beginning going over how to set up the project folder. Be sure to have this uh, up and ready and I'll see you guys in class on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.